Since November, the major currency market drivers have been the emergence of the Omicron COVID variant, the Fed validating more hawkish market expectations and the major decline in energy prices. Currency volatility has picked up sharply and the many uncertainties advocate preparing for wider currency swings from here on. These uncertainties increase our confidence regarding our assumption of a decline in the Euro-US dollar. We maintain our target for mid-2022 at 112, but now move to pencil in a further decline to 109 later in the year. We believe the euro dollar could remain under pressure in both pessimistic and optimistic scenarios as far as the virus risks are concerned. Bear in mind that the euro is not only a growth-sensitive currency, but also a low yielder. This is why a more pessimistic virus scenario could see a lower euro dollar, as global growth forecasts would be revised down further in the months ahead. A status quo virus scenario? That is one that creates uncertainties but is unlikely to cause a big negative growth shock should sustain expectations of a faster pace of Fed rate hikes. This will keep the euro dollar under pressure. Now, where could we be wrong? Upside risks to our assumption of a euro dollar decline could come from a sharp upwards adjustment to global growth forecasts and or a European central bank that is much more hawkish on interest rate policy. However, both seem less likely at this stage. We also believe our low for longer Euro Swiss franc view has further to run, and we target a lower range of 102 to 106 over 2022. Amid stronger appreciation pressures in a relatively healthy Swiss economy, the Swiss National Bank seems to be taking a more hands off approach to currency intervention. That said, we have turned less confident of our assumption of a rise in the US dollar versus the Japanese yen. A combined rise in energy prices and US Treasury yields would be needed for us to turn more positive on the dollar-yen pair. Recent developments, however, cloud the picture. For details on all this and more, please have a look at our latest FX Monthly. We wish you a happy holiday season and thanks very much for watching.